Hey, good morning, sir. How you doing this morning? Well, it's a marvelous Monday. Good looking Monday morning. Great day to be alive in the Lord. That's it. That's it, man. I tell you what, 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 what a way to get started, man. I tell you, up and out of as they always say in the army. And man, we, are, we appreciate you. We, we're looking for this good news that you're getting ready to tell us, man. We already got us knowing that this was the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. And I know that you're going to top it off with that good news as well. So, Pastor, I'm going to step out of the way and we'll turn it over to you. We're going to see what you have to say. Here he is, Pastor Mark Barris with Christ in action. Pastor, you got it. All right, indeed. Delighted to be sharing that good news this morning. And it's eternal news because... You know, the plan of God did not get formulated in time. As we know time, we relate to all things on the basis of time, except when we look at scripture and we begin to have the discernment of God's spirit. The apostle Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 4 that we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen, because we come to grow to understand the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are unseen are eternal. So what he is saying is we look at eternal things. And so it is our understanding of God's plan and purpose and work and the assurance of faith that we have because of it is that the plans of God were declared from the beginning. That's right. When you read in the beginning in Genesis chapter one, God created the heaven and the earth. He preceded that even, that record of the ghost writer Moses as he writes of what happened by the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, uh, how that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Let me I tell you that he proceeded in the beginning and out of him the beginning came why do I need to know that? And why is that so important? And it sounds wonderful, but how is that relevant to my life? Friend, when we begin to discern and understand Daddy God, that he declares the end from the beginning, it's all fixed. It's all set. He has already pronounced the blessing over you. He has already chosen you in Christ from the foundation of the world, it says in Ephesians chapter 1 to be holy and without blame before him in love. That was his choice. That's his decision. That's what you predestined for. That's the foreknowledge of God, those theological terms that you hear uh, pushed out and uh, spoken of from scripture, that whom he did foreknow, Romans chapter 8, verse 29, he also did predestinate to be conformed unto the uh, image of our son, son, that he might be the firstborn among uh, many brethren. Those he predestinated, he also called, and those he called, he also justified, and those he justified, he also, also glorified. I tell you, I just get a warm <laughs> uh, sensation in the pit of my stomach. It's my human spirit rejoicing at the understanding of God's work where you and I are concerned. We can grasp this handshake of how God has reached to us before time began, that he works all things after the counsel of his will. You say, well, why are these things going on around me? Why am I dealing with all of these things? Well, back to 2 Corinthians 4, the apostle Paul says, these are light afflictions that work in us a more eternal weight of glory. But you say, how is that possible? While we look not at the things that are seen, for the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are unseen are eternal. That's why the all saints used to sing, hold to God's unchanging hand, build your hopes on things eternal, hold to God's unchanging, because he supersedes it all. Uh, there is no flood that over can overtake him, no fire that can burn him up or burn you up. When you know that he is with you, he's for you, he's in your corner, he's on your side, he called you, he justified you, 
He has glorified you and he will glorify you. Of Jesus as he was about to go to the cross in St. John chapter 17, prayed to the Father, glorify me now with the glory that I had with you before the world began. That's a tremendous prayer and it's an awesome thing that makes us marvel at our King, our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, and uh, how he walked out the plan of redemption. But may I tell you this, that you had a glory with God before the world began? Did you know that you were known before the world began? That God predestined you just like he brought Jesus in an earthly body through the womb of, the, of, of uh, Mary, the virgin, that although your parents, you may or may not know them, and they may or may not have planned you, God knew you. God had a plan for you. He had a purpose for you. Man, this is empowering stuff to grab hold of this and know that you are foreknown and predestined by God and that you are created to walk this life out with glorious purpose as you are his workmanship created in Christ unto good things and good works that he planned beforehand for you to walk in them, friend. He knows these things. You and I must embrace what he has already established and finished in us in Christ and just embrace it, receive it, walk in it. Hey, and when we do so, we'll see sweatless victory because he's anointed and appointed us. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosion Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day, knowing this, to gather, to gather, to gather, y'all. We're the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this marvelous Monday morning, B. I bet you can't wait till Monday get here, Pastor. <laughs> 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 I'm like, hey, hey, I can't even. <laughs> I got a minute. I got a minute. Hey, we appreciate that message, Pastor. Man, I tell you, man, we love you to death all these years. And I truly am proud to be able to say and to call you my friend. Man, you you that. And we just, we just enjoy you, and we look forward to hearing another great message like we did this morning with another Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir. Thank you as well for still having us in the house after all these years with good gospel music and encouraging words every single day. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again real soon. You got a dear pastor, and always have a great one. Bye-bye now. All right. Well, hey, listen, y'all. We are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Oh, yes, you are. You are fearfully and wonderfully. You are intentional in your design by God. God designed you intentionally. See, you know, the reason that you need to know that it is God that made you and not you yourself or any man or any act or mistake of man, surely some man, some woman came together or some means of you coming into this world. But God is the giver of life. Only God has true foreknowledge. You know, we can do exams and take tests to determine the gender of uh, a baby as he or she is born. But it's God who telegraphs it. It's God who gives the design. It's God who makes it. And see, when you see that, uh, the excellence of the greatness of God, that he made you out of the billions and billions and billions of people upon the earth and that have come through the earth, he assigned you. You have an assignment from God. It's wonderful. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's marvelous. And I want you to see that. I want you to know that. I want you to have the handshake of that truth and reality in your life that you might walk in the glorious purpose that God has called you for and called you to. The whole earth is groaning for you, groaning for you, groaning for me, groaning for us. And we ourselves within ourselves do groan also. Don't, be, don't get it twisted. Don't be mistaken. It's not all the stuff of this world that you're groaning for. It's the things that are eternal. 